हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास इलेवेंथ कॉमर्स वेलकम टू पंडा सर्स वर्चुअल क्लास ऑन स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस येट अनादर मेजर ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी और एवरेज नेम्ड मीडियम इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द एरिथमेटिक मीन विच इज ए मेजर ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी ऑफ ए सीरीज might it be a grouped data or ungrouped data that means in all three types of series individual discrete and continuous so today we will learn how to <coughs> calculate median in three different types of series that is individual series where we find ungrouped data and discrete and continuous series which are grouped data so first we need to understand what is the characteristic of median actually when the values of a an observation are arranged in ascending or descending order that is the main thing we need to remember that after getting the question first of all we have to check whether the values of the series are arranged in ascending or descending order or not if it is not uh, uh, arranged then we need to first arrange the value in ascending order okay as you can see in this question <coughs> here we have got an individual series the values are 5 7 6 1 8 10 12 4 3 3 total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Nine observation, nine values are there in the observation or in the series, and also we can see that the values are not arranged in ascending or descending order. So the first job, first one that we will do is to arrange the values in ascending order. So here in this line, I have arranged the values in ascending order, and what is the number of observation? And that is nine values or nine observations are there. so n is 9 and after that it is quite easy because median divides the entire series into two equal part one part the values are either equal to or less than the median and the other half all the values are either equal to or more than the median thus it is a positional average median is a positional average that divides the series into two equal halves so after arranging the values in ascending order we have we need to find median and for finding median we need to apply the following formula that is median which is denoted by letter m capital letter n is nothing but the n plus 1 upon 2 value so here n being 9 9 plus 1 upon 2 that is 10 That is ten by two. That is fifth item. So in the series, we will count the fifth item, first item, second item, third, fourth, and fifth item. Fifth item is six. Hence, in this observation, the value of median is six. So this, in this way, in individual series, it is quite easy to calculate median. So nothing is difficult in discrete series. It means in discrete series as well. How you can see? it is a group data that's why along with the values we have the number of occurrence of each value which is called frequency so you can see here the values are 5 6 7 8 but what is n what is the number of observation it is not 1 2 3 4 5 because n is nothing but summation of frequency summation of frequency that is 4 1 5 5 3 8 8 7 15 and 15 1 4 19 h in this third column you can see we need to find the cumulative frequency that is 4 it is 4 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 7 15 15 plus 4 19 so summation f or n that is number of observation would appear at the end of the cumulative series column 
So in this way, we made the table. Now simply put the answer, put the formula and get the answer. Median is the same n plus one upon twoth item. That is here nineteen plus one upon two. That is twentieth item. And two is twenty by twoth item. That is tenth item. So tenth item in this series, you can see in the column of cumulative frequency. So tenth item here up to eighth item. So in this class, in this value. The tenth item appears, so its value, relevant value, is eight. Hence, the value of median is eight. So, in this way, we can calculate the value of median. One more thing I forgot here. You can see while taking n plus one upon two, there might be two possibilities. That here we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different observations or values in this series. Hence, nine is a odd number. That's that's why a odd number plus one upon two we get a definite number, a whole number. But what if the number of values in the series is even? Let us see. Let's make it. Put another value that is thirteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now n equal to ten. So putting the formula n plus one upon two, we are getting ten plus one upon two. That is eleven upon two. That is five point five item. So how to calculate median now? Now we have to take this is first item, second, third, fourth, fifth. So this is fifth. That five five point five number item lie in between fifth and sixth item. That's why we have to take the sum of both fifth and sixth item. That is six plus seven upon two. That is thirteen upon two. Hence thirteen upon two is six point five. So if the number of observation or values in a series is even, then we have to take. The arithmetic mean of both the items that is falling in between what median will come. Hence, if we put another value here, then the median instead of becoming six, it will become six point five. That is how we usually calculate median in an individual series where the number of observation is might be even, might be even. So this is how we calculate median in. Uh, our discrete series now a little bit technical we need to put a formula in in case one the series is a continuous series continuous series also grouped data and you can see here we have class intervals it starts from 0 to 10 10 to 20 and in this way up to 40 to 50 and this is the frequency column so we need to calculate summation f equal to number of observation and when we add them what we find again just i told you The while calculating cumulative frequency, the last figure would be the number of observation. If you add all these things, then we are arriving at 26. So here median is sorry, number of observation is 26. So here one difference you need to remember while calculating median in individual and discrete series, we use the formula n plus one upon twoth item. But in case of discrete series. We have to take only n upon two, not n plus one upon two. Thus, what is what is the median position? Twenty six. So twenty n upon two is twenty six upon two. That is thirtieth item. Thirteenth. Thirteenth item would be the median, and we can look at thirteenth item here in this cumulative frequency column. So thirteenth item comes here in sixteen, and the relevant class is thirty to forty. Well, the frequency is seven. So, in this class interval, the median value lies somewhere in between thirty to forty. Now, what would be the exact value of median? In order to get that, we need to apply the following formula: that m or median is equal to L one means the lower limit of the median class plus n upon two. That we know very well, twenty six upon two is thirty thirty n upon two minus c f upon f into i. 
and also we need to uh, understand and remember what is I, what is CF and what is F. You see, the median class, we, after getting the median class, the lower limit would be L1, hence L1 is 30 and the median class is 30 to 40, median class is 30 to 40, that's why the lower limit is 30 and the frequency of the median class is the F. Hence F is 7 because 7 is the frequency of the median class and the previous cumulative frequency will be CF, not the same. It is the previous previous pre, pre, cumulative frequency. Hence CF is 9 because just before the median class the cumulative frequency is 9. Now put the value upon the formula and get the answer. So L1 30 plus N by 2 is 30 minus 9 because CF is 9 uh, upon 7 and I is the difference be between the lower limit and upper limit that is 40 minus 30 is 10 and I is 10 into 10 so hence we are getting 30 plus 4 upon 7 into 10 equal to 30 plus 40 by 7 so the ultimate answer is 35.71 hence in this series continuous series the value of median will be 35 plus 35.71 so this is how we calculate median in three different series that is ungrouped data that is uh, <coughs> that is individual series and grouped data that is discrete and continuous series where we have uh, along with the values we have got the frequencies so this is all about median and uh, in the in our next class we will uh, uh, discuss uh, about the other positional values like a decile, percentile and <coughs> all those things. So for tomorrow, for today, this much is enough. Thank you and have a nice day.